water, midi, vasa, vada, so, awa, ishka, su, vada, maya, shri, vada, agua, moja, vada, mai, agua, ishka. No matter who you are or where you're from, we are all united by the significance of water to our existence. Our lives depend on it. Our planet depends on it. Our continuance depends on it. Water covers about 71% of the Earth's surface. 96.5% of that is ocean water. Everyone everywhere is inextricably connected to and utterly dependent upon our world's oceans. They are our life support system. The ocean is essential to our survival. Yet we treat it with neglect. For decades, our oceans have been dumping grounds for sewage, rubbish, plastic, industrial and chemical waste. Marine pollution is the term used when waste ends up in the ocean and causes adverse effects on marine life and ecosystems. Marine pollution is caused by the actions, industry and habits of humans. As David Attenborough once said, all the ecosystem of the world are based on healthy oceans. And if that part of the planet becomes dysfunctional, then all life on Earth will suffer. The UN have estimated that if nothing is done about the accumulation of waste in our oceans, then by 2050 there will be more plastic than fish in our oceans. Ocean pollution is on track to triple by 2060. It is estimated that over 8 million tonnes of plastic ends up in the ocean every year. In Scotland alone, the volume of the litter on our beaches has increased by 37% in the last decade. Roughly 40% of the ocean surface is covered in plastic debris. Plastic doesn't go away and it doesn't break down. It only breaks up into smaller and smaller pieces called microplastics. As plastic breaks down, it releases greenhouse gases into our atmosphere. Terrifyingly, 50% of plastics are designed to be single use, which means they are only used once, then thrown away. In reality, there is no way for a material designed to be indestructible. Scary, isn't it? Here's just Alan, we are thinking carefully about what we can do to protect our oceans, locks and rivers. We are thinking about how to reduce our negative impact. And promote the health of our water. Our first step on this journey is to learn more about the problems and the solutions. As part of our weekly EcoSkills lessons, year 3 to 6 have been learning about the ocean water, ocean pollution and what we can do to help it. We are holding our Ocean Day to present our work to the rest of the school. On the 24th of November, years three to six joined the Surface Against Sewage Assembly. We have had meetings with our catering team to see how we can reduce single-use plastic in our school. Our senior pupils are on the case too. They have been helping to clear out the waterways on our school grounds. By creating safe, clean habitats, we are trying to encourage water life back to the school grounds. We even had a beaver visiting our ponds recently. Flooding is a huge problem for us in Scotland, but we are redesigning our flood areas in school to help create wetland habitats and bogs. It doesn't look like much just now, but watch this space. In the UN Water Conference, we are speaking about our Be The Change project, which is now well underway. Eco Council have been trying to reduce our waste in school. By reducing the waste we create and being mindful of the items we discard, there will be less waste to end up in our oceans. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by the scale of issues that face our planet, but... We can help. You can get involved too. Here are top 10 tips to help reduce your impact. Number one, take reusable bags with you when you shop. Number two, did you know that many tea bags contain plastic in the fabric of the bag? Swap the loose leaves to buy a brand which is taking action to remove plastic from their tea. Number three, use a refillable water bottle or a coffee mug. Number four, instead of cling film, try wax coated wrap, which can be used again and again and again. Number five, reach your plastic toothbrush and try a biodegradable fiber toothbrush instead. Number six, switch 
to shampoo bars rather than shampoo in plastic bottles. Number seven. Shop for refillable cleaning items. Number eight. Avoid disposable straws. Carry your own reusable store instead. Number nine. Write a weekly menu and only buy what you need. This means you're not throwing out excess food. Number 10. Conventional chewing gum is made from plastic. Look for plastic-free brands which are committed to ending plastic pollution. Help us to protect our oceans and safeguard our future. The greatest threat our planet is a belief that someone else will save it. Our Eco Council loves nature. And we want to protect it!